안녕하세요. 제 이름은 나미입니다. Hi, it's Nami. As you can see, something's going on with my roots. I did bleach them and I only had to bleach it. Guess how many times? Once! However, it's looking a little bit like a shadow root because the toner I used is a blue base kind of ash-ish toner, but I don't know, it turned out like silver ish faded ish shadow root e um, i think it's kind of cute so i don't mind it but i will definitely have to go out and buy my 10 beige silver toner from goldwell that i have been using since the first time i bleached my hair i do want to conquer the blonde we will conquer the bleaching if bleach was Terrible, that terrible, of course, chemical burns, yes. But if bleach itself was the game over, then I think there wouldn't really be bleach. I think people should have control over it. The chemical, the product and how it's used and there's a way to this and I do want to figure it out for my hair type. I don't know when until I'll be continuing to bleach my roots, but I think I'll be continuing to film the process of bleaching my roots until we get it down pack with our own hands. I almost got it though, it was just the toner. I switched it up this time. So let's get right to it. Let's do a little combing with our wooden brush. Help distribute some oils. This resurrecting mask from Vanola is supposed to be used after you shampoo and condition, but I'm just gonna throw it into my ends for a while the bleach is processing. Hopefully it'll help, you know, the, the rest of my hair. It smells like Dunkaroos! I'm running out of hair ties, so I'm gonna use this Nacho Fan bracelet. And of course the other side will be BTS RP bracelet. Goldwell Oxycure Platin Lightning Powder. Goldwell Top Chic 40 volume. I hope this is enough. Olaplex Step 1. I honestly don't think I need 100 milliliters of bleach, but I figured it's better if I mix a little bit more beforehand. I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling quite confident, so <laughs> let go. Almost forgot my cooking gloves. To be honest, I can't really see that well, so uh, I'm just kind of going by feel. pretty good okay I'll start with this section maybe ah oh my gosh my hair is sticking together because of the hair mask maybe the hair mask wasn't a good idea maybe I should have done all the pack stuff too on the ends Woo what we discovered last time is that I do have to bleach with 40 volume because I have literally like level zero hair my hair is like like pitch black if I develop with lighter developers, my hair actually does not develop or get past a level eight. So I do have to use something stronger, like a 40 volume developer. But in a way, it's kind of good because once it is finished developing for a time, it will actually stop developing. Wow, we already see quite a lift at the hairline. Hopefully we won't have blotches of black this time. Looks like it was just enough and it turned all frothy. Oh my gosh, it took me 50 minutes to do my whole head. Before I put this baggie on my head, I am gonna go back in and check every single section to make sure that there isn't any black. What happens when the bleach turns all frothy? Are you still able to use it? I'm guessing it won't be as effective because it's already developed on its own. Wet on wet bleach, I learned from Gauteng. Wow, it's really brown up here. What wet on wet will do, will just develop these really small blotches while the already processed bleach dilutes this one. This side did have less time to develop, but what I'm watching out for is total black splotches that really did not saturate. I did a pretty good job for the most part. I think here down will be okay. I couldn't really see the back of my head, but here I could see it pretty decent. Just a little over an hour now, but the bleach that I put on initially should have stopped developing. I'm gonna put this on the back of my head 
to develop the rest and wait about 20 minutes, checking frequently to make sure everything's okay. Let's see how we done. My hair is still on my head. I'm sorry to disappoint those who are waiting for all my hair to fall off. Uh, maybe next time. Oh, it looks like it lifted quite well at the back. Let's rinse it out. After thoroughly rinsing, time for Olaplex step two. Wow, I literally am an ice cream. Oh my gosh, it lifted so well. I mean, you can still see a little bit of like dark. I'm gonna let this Olaplex sit in for 10 minutes or however long it takes to do my makeup. Oh my gosh, I got a band of white. <laughs> no, I got a band of white right in between my previous bleaching and my current roots. Oh my god. I guess next time I should bleach the outer root right before it touches my pre-lightened area and then go in and fill in my actual roots. Is that how I'm supposed to go down? I have no idea. Well, I tried. Maybe if we tone it, you can't see it as much. I'm gonna throw on this toner by Joyco because I ran out of my 10 beige silver from Goldwell that I was using last time. This one is the Lumi Shine in 9BA Blue Ash Light Blonde. Thank you, Lauren, for this. I'm gonna try. I feel like the white areas are gonna end up looking blue. Honestly, not bad though, eh? Not bad. Pat on the back for Nami. Oh my gosh, look how much regrowth of healthy hair I have now. Down here, it's all over-processed. Maybe by the time it gets to my chin, I can chop off all my damaged hair. We'll see, we'll see. Goldwell Demi Colorants Developer Lotion. This one has no ammonia. It says one-to-one -one ratio, but this is looking so watery. Why do Demi Permanents always look so watery? Let's hope this will be enough. I feel like because this is blue-based, my hair will turn green. If it was like violet-based, I think it would turn more silver. Okay, I think it won't turn green. I have a feeling we'll be okay. I'm gonna be okay. Can I just say real quick, this hairstyle is so cute. That only took 15 minutes to apply. Let's go back in to check on our sections. Pretty good, well distributed. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm gonna give it about five minutes and then I'm gonna apply a little bit to my previously lightened roots so that it can know sort of the yellow tones as well. Let's quickly throw some on down here and then I will rinse this off right after. Cause I'm gonna be okay. I don't know if I'll be okay, I'll be okay though. Ha. Let's give this about five minutes. <laughs> Whoa, it's so dark. Oh, it's actually quite gray. I'm sure it'll tone down once my hair dries. The color fades a bit. Oh, I'm tired from being upside down. You can see that the blue has kind of made my pink a little bit purpley again. I'm gonna go and apply my pink conditioner everywhere. I've already shampooed my hair. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm so tired from standing and going upside down and standing and now my hair is uh, purple, gray, green, pink. Oh my gosh, now my hair really looks like cotton candy. It's like blue and pink. So from the video, it has faded a bit from that intense blue tone that it was and now it looks more like a gray-ish silver fade into pink. I don't know which one will fade first, but my pink had been a little bit diluted from the rinse of the bleach and toner. So it looks more like a pale, pale, pale pink now. I kind of really like it. And my roots look just a tad bit green there where there's still the yellow underneath the blue. <sighs> I stood for four hours with my arms up, bending my waist up and down to wash my head upside down. So I was really exhausted after filming the whole process and I took a good two and a half hour nap. I don't know if you felt exhausted at all, but I was. So let's move on to our featured comments. Today's feature comment is from Cloud Campos. Does this work on very long hair? I wanna do this on my little sister's hair. Can't wait. 
Yes, these braided crimped waves do work on every hair length. You just have to braid it all the way down. And I feel like it works better on longer hair in a way because you can make the strands thicker. So just part two parts instead of three like I did because the more sections you have, the tighter the waves will be. If you have two braids, it'll just be loose waves and I think it'll be really pretty. If ever there's any recreations or things that you tried, please tag me over on Instagram or Facebook. I always love seeing your posts and your stories and your beautiful faces. So that's it for this video. I'll see you next time. Bye!